Hello, this is Mark Tidonio from LearningExchange.pdc.com. This tutorial is creating a servo motor and running a kinematic analysis. The first step is to open up the mechanism application. So first click on the applications tab, then click on the mechanism button. Once the mechanism application opens, click on servo motors. A servo motor definition box is going to pop up in the corner. On the type tab, we're going to leave the driven entity as the motion axis we're going to select the motion axis connecting the crankshaft part to the block part. Now we're going to click on the profile and rather than position we're going to set it to velocity and where it says magnitude we're going to make that 72. Now we're going to uncheck the velocity and check the position and now we're going to click on the graph button the plot shows that the servo motor will go through two full rotations in the 10 seconds. Now exit out of the graph and click OK to finish the servo motor. Now that the servo motor is complete, we're going to click on the mechanism analysis button. After clicking on the mechanism analysis button, the analysis definition dialog box is going to open in the corner. Where it says type, we are now going to select kinematic. We're going to leave all the other preferences the same. Now we're going to click on motor to make sure that our server motor is selected, and it is, and now we're going to select run. Notice after I clicked run, the servo motor is going to force the slider crank assembly to complete two revolutions. Press OK to finish the kinematic analysis. To replay the results of the analysis, click on the playback button. Once the playback dialog box is open, click on this button to play the current result set. Click on the play button and you'll see the results animate again. You can use this button to increase the speed of the animation. Press close to close the animate dialog box. On the playbacks dialog, click on the save button to save your results as a playback file. If you want to reopen an old playback file, click on the open folder and then choose the playback file you want to open. Thank you for watching my tutorial. I hope you found it useful. This is Mark Tidonio from learningexchange.ptc.com. Feel free to check out more content at PTC University or at learningexchange.ptc.com.